bit of a wispy. <laughs> okay, that's what I want to say. Start again. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Marley, the girl behind Studio Daughter, my freelance graphic design and photography business. You might have seen me on Instagram before, probably that's how you found this video. <laughs> so I just wanted to, I don't know, start making YouTube in amongst this huge crisis where we can't go outside. So I just thought, find a new way to share things with people or find a way to connect. Like hopefully after a while it becomes a bit of a community. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Um, so obviously with all that's going on right now with the coronavirus, which isn't it crazy? Like you can't really leave your house. Like personally, I think that's a bit crazy, but we'll see. Sad for all those families who have lost family members. Obviously we're thinking about them. Yeah, that's just all I really want to say is just like stay inside, not just for you, but stay inside for everybody else as well. So if you're a freelancer like myself, or you've just started working from home, or you're just spending a lot of time at home because of this whole crisis, I thought I'd make a video where it can give you some ideas or things you can do at home to either progress in your business, or um, if you're, honestly, if you're just bored and you really need something to do and you can't think of things off the top of your head, I've got a few things that way. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. I just made the notes on my phone because honestly, it's just, a little bit easier. Always see YouTubers do it, so why not? <laughs> so this list that I've got is just um, a f like I think ten, seven maybe. <laughs> I didn't keep track, but yeah, it's just a list of things that you can do um, to progress in either your business or to just give you something to do or like one of those things you've been putting off forever that you don't really think about, and then you're like, oh my gosh, what should I do right now? And then you're like, oh. So watch this video and it could give you some ideas to be like, oh, I should definitely do that. <laughs> so number one, which is a huge one for me and I really, really, really need to do this and I am going to after I film this video and I'll like, honestly, I'll probably put in a little video on the side here to show you that I am doing it is clean out your camera roll. I'm not even kidding. Let me, I have 24, oh, focus. 24,000 photos. Yeah, that's a bit hectic. <laughs> that has been like that for a while though. Like, obviously, I'd love to take photos though. So they're always on my phone or even if they've like been on my camera that I'm using to film this with, I'll like use the Wi-Fi and get them sent over to my phone and then edit them on my phone. I know I really like shouldn't. Or I should just like put um, the ones that I like on my phone and then edit them and then delete the ones that I don't like or delete the unedited or I don't know. There are many things that I could do for my camera roll. Yeah, so clean out your camera roll. Go through, like if you went and took, um, sorry, my hair has gone crazy. This wind, there's a window like right there. So it's just gone a bit crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you've gone out and shot content, say you did like one outfit, say I did this outfit and I got like, I don't know, because I'm like a very candid kind of photo, I get at least like a hundred photos in in one outfit. Just so I make sure that I've got like one that I love or even like three that I love, like one close up, one far away and one detail shot. Like those, that, add, that adds up. Once you keep taking and keep taking and keep taking, you're like, yep. Then once you finally get one, you're like, okay, cool. And then you end up realizing that you've got like 200 photos and you're like, oh my gosh. So one thing is to just go through and delete them. Go through and delete the ones that you don't like, the ones where you're pulling a funny face, the ones where, well, for me, when my belly looks a bit too big, like those ones, just get rid of them. We don't need them. Another thing that you can do for cleaning your camera roll is, for me personally, my camera roll on my iPhone is synced with my photos app on my Mac computer. So what you can do is have your, this is all on your computer, have your photos library open, and then um, I have my finder window open. <gasps> There's a huge like, oh, is that a wasp? Ah! Oh. Okay, sorry. He's like just sat up there. I think it should be fine. He is coming towards me. Ah! Okay, but so. 
Sorry, I just keep freaking out. Uh, out the window, out the window. Okay, he's flown over back to the window. Last one is to um, is another tip that you can do to remove photos on your phone, but also keep them really organized. So if you have a Mac and an iPhone and your libraries are synced, um, what you can do is open your photos app on your computer and open your finder window and then like go to the very, very, very top of your camera roll and then just like get like a set of photos. So say you went to like, I go to Perth quite often to visit my family. Um, I just highlight all those photos and then I drag them across into finder like photo albums and just have them all organized that way. So that way they come off your phone, they're still on your computer and I always make sure that my computer files are backed up to um, OneDrive, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, OneDrive. So yeah, they're always still accessible and they're off your phone, which is a really added bonus. So. That was number one, cleaning up your photo library. Next one is to shoot your content. It's really annoying because I really wanted my first video to be like how to find good Instagram locations and how to make a bad location into a good location, how to find unique places. But because everyone's like stuck inside their houses, I was like, that's just not really gonna work, is it? Like no one's gonna like that one, are they? <laughs> but no, so the second one is to shoot your content around your house. So, for me personally, my Instagram is very like, most of the time, at the moment I think it's pretty dark, but is like quite light and bright and like white, but my floor in my house is the floorboards of like an old Queenslander, so it's very orange. And obviously I do love an orange tone, but they're too orange, like too dark, too orange. So I just avoid that, like I have literally used this area up and it feels like very light and bright and fun. So just find an area in your house um, and then make sure that that area is close to a window or a door or like a really open area because the natural light is the big one. That is so important, especially if you're shooting indoors and not um, outside. You still need to make sure that you're incorporating that natural light to just make sure that you've got good lighting on your face. Yeah, I always just tend to open these big windows here um, and then shoot in this room. I mean, I like this. Um, paneling stuff. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> um, so I shoot against these walls. The thing you can do is like for shooting around your house. Today's like a gloomy day but the lighting is really nice. So yeah just pay attention to the time of days, the time of day that you shoot and if it's like overcast or really bright and sunny. It's really bright and sunny sometimes it's too much. But I will be doing another video on lighting and um, best ways to get Instagram photos later on. So this is just my little bit of a um, intro to that. <laughs> Okay, so the third one is learn some skills on Skillshare. So now is your time to be picking up new skills because if you're one of those people who is resting at home or any of those things where you're just like stuck at home but you don't really have work to do, now is the time to be advancing your skills. It personally, I find that Skillshare is really, really great. They're really informative, um, quite expensive, but they have two months free. So maybe just sign up for that and maybe in two months, cancel it and the coronavirus will be gone away and you'll have advanced so much in your workplace that you won't, they won't, won't know what's hitting them. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to try and learn some more Photoshop tips. Because I feel like I'm pretty good at Illustrator, but my Photoshopping is like average. So if I like can pick up a skill in that time, hopefully you can too. Um, so another one is the next, I think it's four and five, are quite similar, but clean out your downloads folder. Your downloads folder is not just for your downloads. Like obviously it is, but move that stuff into the right spots. Like your those images you downloaded are probably for a client. Put it in their folder. Like it it baffles me how full mine can get. And I'm like, oh, I'm actually such an organized person. And then I'm like, why am I like this? But yeah, now is the perfect time to just um, go through your downloads folder, put everything where it is, delete the stuff you don't need. Half the stuff you literally would download and then be like, and need it for like two seconds and then never need it again. So go through, delete it, clean it up, and then empty your rubbish bin. My goodness. That thing is probably so full if you are not an organized person. Become one. Once you empty it, I feel like so much room on your Mac becomes available. And then this one that goes very hand in hand is clean out your desktop. <gasps> oh my gosh. The amount of people I met through uni that would literally just like, I would look at their desktop and like nearly have a hissy fit because I was like, oh, 
how do you work like that? I just, oh, I can't. But please, I am still bad for that as well. Like 100%, everyone's bad for it. Just go and organize it. You've got the time, you're at home doing nothing anyway, and half this stuff you can do while watching Netflix. So put on your favorite show, clean out your desktop, desktop, put them all into the right folders, delete what you don't need. Honestly, you will thank me later because I just did it and I already am thanking myself. I'm like, oh. and then you can also, as another little added one to this, change your background. Oh my gosh, doesn't that just make you like, ah? Like you just open your laptop and you're like, oh my God, it's clean, it's beautiful. And you're like, oh, I feel so great now. I always like try and find like little arty photos or make a little collage or I don't know something and then I'm like oh god I feel good logging on there's nothing on my desktop and it's just yeah you'll thank me later <laughs> okay um another one I've got two left one this is um one that's really good for people who have small businesses um is to organize your files in a way that you really do understand so Maybe if you've got like a filing system right now on your computer, you should go and assess if it's actually working for you. When you need something for a client, can you actually find it? Um, when a client sends you files, do you know exactly where to put it? Like those kind of things. Go and analyze it right now because honestly, a lot of your clients are probably like backing out or for me personally, mine are still going because like we all just work from home anyway, so it's quite standard. But if you are in a service that your clients are backing out or um, you have a lot less work, just go and analyze it, like see what's really working. Because honestly, if this coronavirus pandemic goes away in what, two, three, four, in six months, with, by the time that you've done like a few of these um, steps on my list, you will literally think, wow, I feel so much more organized. I'm ready to tackle that work life again. I'm ready to like, for the small businesses, I'm ready to get more clients and be more productive and be quicker because you know where your files are, you know where to find it, like, yeah. I just think that's a really good one. I found a great system um, now. I've like slowly been tweak tweaking it over the last, what, six months? So if you would like to know that, let me know. Um, I might do a video on that later, showing you all on my laptop, like how I personally organize as a graphic designer. Um, I did watch a few videos of like photographers and how they do it and oh, like it's just nice to be able to like look at a few different industries and like apply it to my own like filing system. So yeah, can do that as a video later. And then a third, well a third, oh my gosh, as if I'm still on number three, I'm like way past number three. This is the last one, I actually don't know what number it is, sorry. But um, start a bullet journal. So this is a good, I don't know, it depends what your level of like organization is or if you're like a typical, like I just put it on my phone or what. But I feel like I just started a bullet journal probably like six months ago and I feel so cool. Like it literally looks good, it's colorful, it's like fun, um, it's really organized and I feel like I always have like my to-do list, um, business goals or whatever and then like at the start of your bullet journal you write like what's on what page so that you can always go back to it. Like if you want to know where your business goals are it'll literally be like in your index and say business goals, page 24. So you just go to page 24 and they're right there. Like it's honestly, it's really easy way to keep all your information together and like not lose track. Cause honestly, like my mind is just a bit crazy and there's always things going on. So yeah, that's a good one to do. Just um, if you have a bit of spare time to like, like right now is to get used to using it, um, find a way that it's beneficial to you. And then yeah, once you've had a few weeks to get used to it, I feel like you'll be able to implement it into your business. Um, but yeah, so those are my tips of things that you can do while you're at home. <laughs> if you're trying to find something to do in your business or you have less clients, like all these things is a great way to set up your businesses, set up your organizational skills. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, as always, like and subscribe. <laughs> no, but please do. If you do enjoy my um, video content, please like and subscribe so that I know what videos to post and what you like. Oh, my partner's coming in the door, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Good timing. But yeah. And also comment if you'd like to know any of those ideas that I mentioned in the video. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.